Hi, welcome to Mayabot Studio. I'm Eric, the CEO of Maya.ai. I'm going to help you get started by covering some of the basics of the Bot Studio and then what we call primitives, three basic concepts you need to make a useful bot. So let's get started. Let's first have a look at the environment that you're in here. So we have the code editor where you're going to write flows. Over to the right, you have a test chat where you test how your bot functions, and then down below we have a debug console that will output logs as your bot uh, operates. So let's start with intents. So in, the intent is the first concept. An intent is what, you can think of it as a trigger, it what triggers a flow. So there are many intents here. I'm going to start with a basic one called keyword, and you can read more about the other intents in our docs. This bot, we're going to have it respond to the keyword high. So whenever a user types high, we're going to trigger a flow. Great. We have convenience. So um, let's focus down here into the uh, code editor for a moment. The, this is where we're going to construct a flow, the second concept. So a flow is a sequence of states that execute in order and doing something useful at each state. So I used a template for Hello World, and this, after saving, we'll have a look at on the test chat to see what happens. So if I type hi, I get Hello World. And you'll notice you can make changes over here. And then with resaving, I use Command S to save. I'm on a Mac. You get some new text with an emoji. I'm going to add a second state by using this convenient link. I'm going to rename it. This is the name of the state. Again, save, type hi, and now you get two states executing in order. If you click the Visualize tab, you'll see a visual representation of your flow and intent. So this is high, triggering two states, and as the bot executes, each step is highlighted. You can even click a step or the second step. If you like, you can clear all messages and start again. So now we've covered intents and flows. Let's cover our last concept, which is a component. As you get through your bot building, you're going to want to do something more sophisticated. Um, Upload data to a server, get data from a server. You know, a typical use case is a user asking for the status of an order. You'll need to tie that into your backend system. So I'm going to create what's called a custom component. And in this case, we're going to do a, a create a joke component. And this is going to be the state where we output the joke, and we're going to create a component called joke. You'll notice the Maya ships with built-in components, like where you've been using Maya.txt, but there's a bunch of other ones. But we're going to create our own custom component. I click Save. You'll notice there's a warning that this comp component is not yet implemented. This is for you to do. So you could have clicked there, or you can create a new component, make sure it has the same name, joke, as how we referenced it in the flow. I'm going to simply click the example API request button up here to get started. This is the this is Python code that will execute as that bot hits that state state in the flow. So in without going into too much detail here, this is going to make a request to a random joke server and output a bot or uh, output a joke as the bot response. So when you click save, this component, this Python code is deployed. It takes approximately, let's say, 10 seconds to deploy. Once it's finished, you can test it in isolation by clicking unit test here or here, which will s invoke the component outside of the context of a chat. And here we get a Chuck Norris joke. So it looks like this component works. Let's test it here in the context of a chat. And we should get a third state with a joke, a random joke. If I run it again, we should get a different joke. Awesome. So that's the basics. So what we covered here were intents, which trigger flows, and flows are a collection of states, which invoke components at each st state. So I encourage you to read the docs and join our Slack channel. We'll be posting more videos over time. Thanks.